Um, but this movie is spectacular. Like, Thank you. Like, you so like much. I said, yeah. another classic has been born. Honest to God, I'm not kidding. That really means so, so much to us. So much. And I was telling Zach, man, I was bawling. Like, there's uh, certain moments, man. Yeah. Like, it's very emotional. Very yeah. emotional and funny. It's just, it's great. Yeah, we're hoping people are surprised by the movie because, I mean, you see, you know, a lot of the film is, is comedy, definitely. But, you know, also we wanted to make sure that, you know, for, Walt always said, for every laugh, there should be a tear. Exactly. Right? And then, you know, and so yeah. we want to make sure that emotion that's felt in the movie is very genuine and very real because you, you have to believe in these, these characters. They can't just be uh, CG characters on screen. You have to believe that these are real people going through real. You really do, and that's what I love a lot about this film too. Is because they're not the classic prince and princess, and they got some edge to them. You know, was that yeah. important to you guys with the story? Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's it's the 50th animated feature from Disney, right? So there's 49 of these movies that have come before it. <laughs> And that is no pressure. No pressure. Yeah, well, you know, it's a, it's a huge thrill to be making this movie. At the same time, there's an amazing amount of challenge that comes with that because we love our legacy, we love our roots, yes. but at the same time, we wanted to do something fresh and different and original. So uh, when it came to our characters, when it came to our world, uh, when it came to this, I mean, the, the action in this movie is huge. Uh everything our approach to everything was to make something that audiences haven't seen before yeah sure. and and it's not you know um it's a, a, cre a creating of rapunzel it's not a retelling you know true. Exactly. so which must have been even more of a challenge and more fun to do i would think yeah it's yeah. very true yeah the original story doesn't have much there you know it's, right. just, it's a girl in a room kind of just sitting there waiting to be rescued and we knew rapunzel had to be something completely different she has to be you know intelligent and, and you know, smart, bright, talented, and uh, and she really is the engine that drives the story. It's like she and Flynn are the people you're gonna have to watch for 90 minutes. So you had to make that chemistry real. You had to make them Absolutely. entertaining, and the comedy comes from them. Yeah, and you know, I understand you auditioned what, like 500 people, and you went yes. with uh, Zach and Mandy, and yes, man, yeah. their voices were just spectacular in yes, this. It so right. worked. Like the voices had chemistry. How That's do you true. know when voices are going to have chemistry? It's true. Yeah, ideally what will happen with these animated features is that you should just be able to watch these characters on screen. Forget who's doing the voice. You shouldn't think about like if that's a celebrity or, or not. Just, yeah. just is it a good fit? And for us, Mandy and Zach and Donna and Ron Perlman, all perfect fits. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Now, um, I understand mm -hmm. that hair is the hardest thing to animate. The hardest, yeah. I mean, just about impossible. Listen, I know I got the frizzies all the time, <laughs> so I just know how much product I have to use. I can't sure. even imagine what Rapunzel would use each day. Sure. But seriously, how on like is that not enough pressure on you guys and you know alone to mm -hmm. animate these thousand strands of hair and oh my gosh. Well, the way Byron and I work, um, we really we go into the story room and and before we get to the, like the technical side of how we're going to make this thing work, uh, it's all about the story. It's all about telling a great story. So we went through and we had such passion for bringing this story to life. And we were looking at our storyboards and we were looking at our beat boards and we we're trying to figure out what to do. And at some point we were like, okay, we've got something here, we have something. And we went to our technical geniuses that we work with and we said, okay, so this hair, um, we're gonna have to get it wet. We're gonna have to, she's gonna have to tie people up. She's gonna have to climb. <laughs> uh, she's gonna have to do a million, it's a bull whip, it's everything. And um, they went pale and they were like, oh, okay. Um, but luckily, you know, we're always up for a challenge and so is our crew yeah. and uh, they, they pulled it off. It, it, is it, it true that they were running, or some of the animators were running around the halls and with it, football helmets and fishing wire? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like a, it's a long wig, yeah, the long, the long animator wig, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We take our research very seriously. I think they've hidden those videotapes away for the sake of our animators. But oh, come on, it's got to be on the DVD, you guys. I <laughs> well, want to well, see that. We'll, we'll like an Easter egg. We'll put it on as Easter egg. You, know? yeah. you have to do it yeah. for yeah. me. That's true. Sure. Well, really, congratulations. Thank and again, so and bringing much. us more Alan Menken music. Really, I don't know how much more I could have taken in this film. It's just perfect. It's so wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Best of luck to both of you. Thank you. See you at the Academy Awards.